In the non-ideal scenarios where the leak grows or Russia abandons the station in 2028, the ISS might need to be deorbited earlier than planned. To understand the new plan, it's crucial to first consider the context and the challenges currently faced by both NASA and Axiom Space. NASA is aware that the ISS needs to be deorbited by the end of the decade, probably in 2030. One worry is that Russia has only committed to 2028 and the station can be operated by NASA alone. Another pressing issue is a persistent leak in the Russian section of the ISS, which began in 2019. Despite attempts to repair it, the leak persists. NASA is concerned about the structural integrity of the affected areas, fearing a catastrophic failure. Due to the potential for sudden failure, NASA wants the decommissioning vehicle ready on station to deorbit the ISS if necessary. In the non-ideal scenarios where the leak grows or Russia abandons the station in 2028, the ISS might need to be deorbited earlier than planned. Additionally, NASA has accumulated valuable equipment on the ISS over the years that it would like to save. Transferring this equipment to the Axiom module before it detaches would be ideal, but the habitation module has limited payload capacity.